It's probably good to turn on the mic. So it's been an interesting week and a half. I kind of want to take you down the rabbit hole of creating these composite elements that you can now download. And there will be more of these. So over the coming weeks, I will be adding to the website. I'm probably gonna be making videos about uh, the process of making those as well, but let me take you down this whole uh, journey of making it. Now I need to figure out how to go from the film uh, onto the computer. And so I could use a scanner. Film scanners are crazy expensive. And then I came across a couple of videos that you could use a DSLR to uh, scan them as well, kind of having something backlit. And so that was the idea. I have an empty room, I put a table down. I then didn't know how to backlight it and I didn't wanna just buy a one-off thing that I was never gonna use. So I grabbed a monitor that I wasn't using and I put it down. I made the whole screen white and I tried to take a picture of it. And as you can see, you can see all the pixels once you focus. So I need to figure out a way to blur that out. And so I tried all sorts of different things. None of them worked. And then this happened. I've lost my power. So there's that. So I kind of halted everything and I sat on it for, I think like a day or two. I don't really remember, but I thought, hey, I could just use printer paper, put it over the screen and then take those pictures. And then I was actually getting somewhere. So I took a bunch of pictures, then brought them in. And from here, I just started to edit them. And I quickly realized that I should probably put it into a different program because it'd be a little bit easier to line things up. Uh, so I just took it into Affinity Photo, chopped it up a bit. And then from there, I came up with some stuff that now I can you know, work with here. And throughout this whole, the whole thing, I was like, you know what? I'm going to film all of this and then edit it down and show everyone. But I had all the settings wrong on my recording equipment. One time I didn't have the mic turned on. The other time I didn't record all of my sources. So it was just my camera that was recorded. My screen wasn't recorded. So it was just a disaster. But I'm hoping into the future, this isn't an issue and I can do it properly if I just do it more often. So anyways, so I started off with 16 millimeter. And the reason why I wanted all the different versions of film, now I didn't get every version of film. I only got three, I got 16, 35, and 70. The reason why I got them is because I wanted to see the way in which the sprockets were laid out, the sprocket holes. And so my big idea with all these different variations was I was going to creatively do something slightly different with each one to give it a different feel. So if it's color, if it's how damaged it is, uh, I, I, each one I wanted to have a little bit different. So I have seen similar things to this. And one of the aspects was around the sprocket hole, having it shimmer that I was gonna do. So I got like a whole, whole shimmer effect that I built out and it all looked great, but all of the other texture for the rest of it just wasn't there. To add even more, I need to go and put some text on it. So I found some font, started adding some random characters and so now at this point, I'm like, all right, I am cooking here. And so I put 70, the 70 millimeter in, and I start looking at this because I really wanted to get the sprocket hole pattern down. And I noticed that there was these gradients with everything. That's interesting. I probably want to take a look at that, but I continued on with everything that I've built to this point because I've been working on it for quite a while. And I just put down all the pattern holes and started working with that. And then I was like, you know what? I should probably clean up this project a little bit. Hey, if you're working on something and you get the end product out, good, go with it. But if you have the time to organize things because you might come back to it again, well then organize it if you can. And I knew that at least this aspect of it, the sprocket holes, I was gonna reuse. And so I was just going through and then I kind of came up with something that I liked. Then I sat on that for quite a while. One night, I looked at everything and I was like, I don't like this at all. <laughs> so then over the weekend, I just worked to get something that I actually liked. And so I don't know why I didn't film it, but let me show you. Uh, if we come over into this timeline, I have so many different versions of everything going on here, but we have like little imprints as if the film was kind of damaged. Another big thing that I really wanted to add, as you can see up here and down here, the sprocket holes, they're constantly getting hit. So I wanted to show off 
like little bits and pieces being broken. I added a little bit of just, you know, just more texture into all of it. So then I rendered those all out. Those are actual elements that you put onto your timeline. You don't have to change composite modes, none of that stuff. You just put it on. It already has the alpha channels baked in. So you just put it on top and it just works. That's how I wanted it to be. So now it's getting somewhere. All you have to do is color grade your footage and you have, you know, something that looks pretty cool and it will sell whatever this feeling is that you're trying to invoke. I then wanted to take this a step further and I wanted to add on more stuff. And the more stuff that I wanted to add on was I want to put on the old school metadata when people used to actually write on the film and that would be on the, you know, the leader, the top half or the end of the film, right? The, the piece that is kind of protecting the actual picture, you know, that, that top half that you start the uh, reel on or the end, you know, those pieces that can take a little bit of damage and uh, have the writing on it of wh whatever that particular piece of content is. So I wanted to do that. I started writing on the, on the tablet, didn't like how it was turning out. So then I found some fonts and I just started playing around with the fonts. I first got some fonts in, I put them into uh, Affiniate Photo, wanted to size them up, get them to sit on the frame the correct way. Went from there right into Fusion. The text just looks a little too clean. We got to add a little bit of chunkiness onto there, right? So it's not so uniform and looks good. So we add that on there. And then uh, we have to add something else on there to make it seem like it's been sitting in a basement, right? A little like mold spores or stuff like that. Cause you know, we all look at mold spores. We know what those look like. You know, like in the little Petri dishes, because we all have Petri dishes and we look at Petri dish. Anyways, you know what I mean, right? The little the little mold spores that you see in the Petri dishes, they're like a little speck and then the center is like one color and as it grows, it's like a different color. So that's what we're gonna add. So we have to add a whole bunch of speckles first. And then on the speckles, we have to add that little ring around each speckle. So we add that on there. Then we have to change the colors. Now it looks like we have this writing that's kind of all janky, that has all of this uh, stuff added to it, but it's still looking a little too clean. So now think of like if we have paint or like one of those paint markers or whatever, and we're rip, wrap, you know, rolling it around on a, on a reel, what's one thing that it's gonna get stress, right? As it, as, it, as it gets bent all around. So we have to add some cracks onto it. So we go and we get an image of um, salt flats. Cause you know like salt flats are super dry and they have all those crazy cracks. You get those and obviously it didn't it wasn't the right size right so you have to like erode it a little bit and now we add that on now it's cracked it looks okay but there's no um depth to the actual uh, marker or to this writing right so we have to add a little bit of depth and that's super seasonal you just use the same stuff and we just do a bevel emboss right so we add that on and now we have a little bit of it looks like there's a little bit of a thickness to this and now we're, 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 we're doing pretty good here. So now we just have to render that bad boy out with its alpha channel. Then by this point, all we have to do is just color grade, put these elements on, change the ones we want to screen mode. And then I also slapped in there a solid color because I wanted that, uh, that like little bit of a color shift adjustment there. And so that's what I did here. I think that it turned out pretty good. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys do want this and things that are going to be coming out into the future, take a look at the link in the description to my website. All this stuff comes with the membership that's there as well as the certification courses and all of that. Take a look at that in the description. But this is what I've been working on. If you guys like this and feel that I should add more stuff to this because I, I already have a bunch of ideas, but if there's something that uh, you would personally like to see added to this, let me know down there because if it is within the wheelhouse of this kind of aesthetic that I'm, that I'm going for, I'll definitely consider uh, creating it. But um, yeah, so views into the future on stuff like this. Uh, my previous one, people like this, so I'm going to continue. I'm gonna try to change how I film and maybe actually record all of the elements. <laughs> uh, I, I just need to do it more and then I'll, I'll, I'll wrap my head around how all of it uh, should properly be done. But that's all I got for you guys today. It is available now as this video is being posted on the website. Tomorrow I'm gonna have like a little promo video kind of going over this. But if you already are a pro member, 
uh, just go into the creative tools and you can download it. If you're not, consider it. Uh, if there are things that you would like to see within that whole pro membership, go to the website in the contact area, submit it there. But with that being said, I'm out of here. My name's Jared. Thank you so much for watching. Till the next one. Peace.